Station Q102. I've got Guar in the Q102 shanty. I have a feeling this isn't the first time you've been in a dark shanty. The shanty. Shanty. No, I, I haven't. I've, I've spent a lot of times in shanties. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is weird, though. This is where we got the moonlight and everything. Uh, Rocklahoma 23. So, uh, early day, I've been seeing a lot of bands coming through that's got the 80s vibe. I gotta ask, like, does that, what does that feel like knowing that the 80s, everything's coming back, the younger generation, you know, kind of hitting it this year? I don't know, I mean, it might as well come back. They're the ones that are responsible for the ecological disasters of the world anyway, with all their hair spray and various cosmetic products. I mean, you know, it's true, the 80s are coming back. But, you know, don't forget that Guar is really more of a 90s band. But, uh, you know, whatever. We started in 1985. That's, that's when we first were thawed out by the excessive use of hairspray by bands like Warrant and uh, Poison and Cinderella. So it's fitting. Yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of the fruitcakes that were making appearances here on the, in the press tent on the way over. Well, nothing more intimidating than uh, everything we got hanging down over here. But uh, tonight, I mean, when you guys, today, when you guys get out there, uh, what can I be uh, looking forward to uh, with all this going on? What are we spraying today? Well, I mean, you know, we are always, we try to do a rock show. That's the format. We come out, we want to do a rock and roll show, and we're interrupted continuously by people that want to kill us. <laughs> we're probably the only band in the world who have arch enemies that try to attack us during every rock show. So, well, I mean, it's a living comic book. You know, what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, a storyline, almost a, a, a rock opera, if you will, uh, complete with the fat lady, that's me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're going to come out and, and we're going to fight them. We're going to, you know, do other things to them. <laughs> and people are going to get sprayed. They're going to get sprayed with every possible body bodily fluid imaginable. <laughs> I cannot wait for that, man. Uh, I mean, like, this is the first time, like I can say, I'm honestly sat next to a uh, barbaric warrior, first time in my life. Yes. And, uh, I mean, where, where did this come from? How did we make all of it? You know, the change. I mean, you've been through war, yeah. man. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. This is, uh, you know, <laughs> this, this is the byproduct of me stealing things off of the dead <laughs> bodies that I wring to death with my bare hands. And over time, I collected their armor. And, you know, this is what you see here. Yeah, right? The collective part of that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, of course, I was born, sadly, with four wiener-like arms <laughs> and a vagina. I also have a sideways vagina. Hey, well, if anything works, you can get it all done yourself, you know? Yeah, both are as trans. <laughs> well, man, I appreciate you coming down this shanty. I'm glad we were able to get you at least one more, one more dark shanty for you. I appreciate you coming hanging out with us at Q102, Spirit Coast Rock Station, hanging out with some <laughs>